And from what I've seen, the game looked pretty fucking promising. Apparently, it was going to be one of those, um... I think it was going to be, like, a sort of adventure game where you could actually alternate between Scrooge and Donald. Oh, oh so it's like, cool. it's like Grand Theft Auto V, like, <laughs> the fucking Fuck. camera zooms Grand out of it. Grand Theft Auto Duckburg. <laughs> Run around as Scrooge, like... you can beat the shit out of people with your cane, that sounds fun. I mean, I will admit I was disappointed that with the whole never following up on the Darkwing Duck, uh segment and i mean i feel like they were gonna do that but it didn't get but unfortunately you know the cancellation came completely out of yeah, nowhere I don't know, but yeah don't... i'm it is kind of sick i still really wish they would have explored a lot more like with um <sighs> i forgot the name of the chick who ends up being close to darkwing duck goslin goslin yeah they kind of didn't follow up on goslin's story arc um would have loved a lot more story arcs with Della, Fuck. and that's mainly because I'm a big Della fanboy. What were those milestone uh, goals again? In more again? ways than one, I'm guessing. What, what was that, Golden? The milestone goals. Um, I forgot what they were again. Um, Dakimara and um. The Dakimakuro. The, the yeah, the Dakimakuro is at three thousand. I'm trying to remember <laughs> what was going to be at twenty seven hundred. Death uh, of the Phoenix, maybe. No, that's okay. already been set. Oh, okay. I'm trying to 28, remember now, too. Yeah, 28, uh, Misty will stream uh, Sonic Adventure 2 on her channel. Okay. Um, and... And there's, like, I think there was, like, a one chip in there somewhere at, like, 2900. Oh, the one chip challenge. Oh, no. One chip challenge, yeah. yeah. And then you I think get the, like, CVS or shit. S See, and actually, someone said, um, a co-worker of mine got his at 7-Eleven. Oh, okay, 7-Eleven works, too. Yeah. And if not, you can always, like, rush, rush buy it from Amazon. Ow! Pass, the pass the hot dogs that have been rolling in the machine since 1995. Pass the slushy <laughs> machine that doesn't work. <laughs> you will find the one-chip challenge. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of, uh, oh, hold on, let me get the video. Wait, what video are you gonna get? Du -du -du. There you go. There it is. Let me get it. Def, I'm gonna serenade you, but not right now. <laughs> there it is. You get robbed at 7 Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. At Lego 7-Eleven. <laughs> I'll watch that later. Oh, fucking, fucking hell. It. Fuck off. Mm. Nope. Can't wait, to see, can't wait to see what Golden is mad at now. Oh, it's the hands. Yep. Golden is gonna, Golden is gonna get touched. He's gonna get grabbed. Nope. He just killed both of them. Getting my clutches. So, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Huh. Well, resort to the walkthrough. <laughs> Turn all the blue tiles to red. Okay, then. Um... At this point, you have the option to leave Hyrule Castle, considering we just infused the fourth element onto the sword. There are now additional heart pieces that can be collected. Alright. That would actually be very <sighs> useful. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hun, I'm oh. gonna nom you. Yeah. Nom. Yeah. Yeah, apparently I forgot what the uh, the goal was for twenty six hundred. Oh dear, twenty six hundred was um, ah oh, fuck, I'm not gonna remember. My memory is awful. Um, squish.
Who's Sasslav? Who? What? <laughs> David David Zaslav. Who is that? I don't oh, know. Oh, that's who the that uh, that's the guy who's currently um, ruining Warner Brothers. Oh, oh, he's the CEO. Would, yeah, he was also in charge of like fucking, you know. Yeah, he was also in charge of fucking. Yeah, all right. No, he was in fuck of like. Uh, sorry, I'm gone. Uh, reality shows and all that kind of shit before he was in charge of Warner Brothers. Well, that, ex that explains a lot. Were the reality shows good? Can anyone could well reality shows are very. Uh, good. Let me let me look any of them up. It, it's been a while since. I'm I mean, David. depending on who you ask, reality shows are either bad. Like depending on most reality shows, they're either incredibly shit or just so bad they're good. Um, I've heard good things about Thirty Day Fiance or whatever the fuck it is. God, that sounds like no. It's one. It's it's one of those kind of media's where it's like it's cringy to watch, but that's the point. I mean, isn't that literally just Maury and like Doctor Maury? Maury. You mean Maury? Maury. <laughs> Maury. <laughs> <laughs> of like. Back then, with like the with Mexico's version of uh, the Jerry Springer show, um, one called Jose Luis Intensura, or it's English Jose Jose Luis um, Uncensored, where it literally was just a trashier version of Jerry Springer, but apparently it got the boot because apparently it was considered too spicy for TV. Mm. Too spicy for really. Yeah, it was yeah. apparently too spicy for TV, and there was a lot of accusations that it was apparently homophobic. You know what I discovered recently that I didn't would never come to the conclusion of in a million years? What? Apparently the Dog Whisperer is an asshole, and I used to watch the Dog yeah. Whisperer all the time. Yeah, I heard about that. As a teenager, too. I used to always watch the Dog Whisperer, and I was like, I'm going to make dogs my best friends. And then later on in life, as an adult, I watch a video on YouTube because it's always a video on YouTube, right? That explains oh. that the dude who plays the Dog Whisperer is actually kind of a dick. And I was like, oh, well. I mean, yeah. it, I mean it's sort of similar to how it was with, like, in later years. When you see that video of basic, that basically says, Drake and Josh were never friends. Yeah, yeah, which you know, this was I think after the whole shabagle with Drake Bell, where it was like, oh yeah, but Josh Peck is also a dick, which doesn't surprise me. Josh Peck has always kind of seemed like a dick, especially after he lost all that weight. Well, Josh, Josh to me seems like a bean, like not a bean, but like I would rather take Josh over Drake for a, a yeah, million times. Right now, yeah. Him. Yeah, especially now these days. I think the reason why some people felt Josh Peck was kind of a dick was because, like, apparently in that docu in that video documentary, it's explained that Drake Bell always tried to reach out to Josh Peck, and Josh Peck was just eh, ghosting whatever. him. Yeah, <laughs> ghost just ghosted him constantly. Like, <laughs> I, think, I think like with Drake, I think because I think the reason why Drake Bell probably felt like that was because he thought it was going to be like a Keenan and Kel situation, like the two of them were just going to be best friends. Mm -hmm. But obviously, Josh Peck didn't feel that way. He just treated Drake like a uh, like just a another, coworker, like another just a coworker, and that's it. Mm. Understandable. Yeah. It, and, not, and to be fair, Keenan and Kel did were friends. It's just that Keenan wanted to be um, wanted to just want um, to expand his career beyond just the Keenan and Kel show. Yeah. yeah, and Kel didn't. Yeah, and Kel was just like, "I'm good." <laughs> and plus, the two of them did not make up afterwards. Kel was just like, "I'm gonna fade into obscurity now." See ya. I mean, to be fair, he kind of got lucky. Most Nick stars just kind of go completely cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, especially if you're under Dan Schneider's content. Yeah, dude, like, but isn't that true with, like, all child actors and stars where it's, like, at first you're, you're, you're like, a child, you star on, like, a child sitcom or a show or something, and then later on in life you just lose all your fucking marbles at some point? Yeah. Um, it, it just it also depends on the celebrities who just decide to step away from that career. Mm. 
Because I know Dylan and Cole Sprouse did that. After they finished uh, the Disney, hey. Disney stint, they immediately went to go uh, went off to go to college. I'm back. What's the time? Hello, Ryza. <gasps> Night, Floraline. Hello. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm sorry. Floraline. Caroline. Sweet Caroline. Right? A yeah. fucking snake was unlo like, unlocked in the Hyrule Castle Garden. Why? Sweet Caroline. What song am I thinking of? That has Sweet Caroline. Um, let me look up. I know Alabama. The, probably, right? Neil Diamond. Yeah, Neil ah. Diamond sings Sweet Caroline. No, I'm thinking of Sweet Child of Mine. Oh, Sweet, Sweet Child of, of Mine. Guns and Roses. Gods yeah. And I got Sweet Child of Mine mixed up with Sweet Caroline. Unpopular <laughs> opinion. I'm that one weirdo that looks at Slash's hat, and I just want to smash it to the ground. Karina. Okay, goodbye, Karina. Do you not like Bye. Slash or something? No, Slash is a good guitarist. I just don't like his hat for some reason. There's just something about it I don't like. You just don't like his hat? <laughs> I don't know, it's more similar to how it is with, like, uh, the lead singer of, like, ACDC who dresses up like a fucking school kid. I mean... Like in his eight, I think he's, like, in his 70s and 80s. Bruh, I'm 30, and I still dress like I'm fucking 13. I told my therapist that the other day, and she's like, no, it's fine. I mean, it's fair. I mean, I dress... I still dress up like a metalhead, despite the fact that I'm in my, you know... I'm still in the 20s. But... Like, what does society? You think just just because I'm 30, I'm supposed to show up in a no. button-up shirt and khakis all the time? Probably because people think that you gotta dress up like a businessman. Uh, no. I'm not gonna dress up as a fucking businessman. I'm gonna wear a shirt that says something rude on it. Then I'm gonna put my anime hoodie on. If I want to wear, oh. if, if I want. Right. Yeah. Full fee rises calling you. I found something yeah. just for you. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll, if I want to wear a goth skirt, let me wear a goth skirt. Okay, I love this Luna Dakamara, but she does not look like that. I need something more accurate. That's God the point of it. it. Oh, no. Her butt That's... is not that big. Her butt does not look like that. Fucking hentai artist. Um, anyway. <laughs> Oh my work. god, hold still. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, Colton's like fighting the army over here. Yeah, yeah they're bouncing. Hey, uh... He doesn't do a lot of damage, at least. I have a terrible idea. What is this idea? Yeah, whenever you say that, your ideas truly be terrible, so... I'm Rise of Dakimara. A Rise of Darkamara? Nah, yes. nobody would buy that. Wow! <laughs> <That's mean. laughs> Are you saying I'm not beautiful, Wolf? I mean, I'm Ryza not saying you're not beautiful. I'm just saying I wouldn't buy. Piece it. of fucking shit! But you said no one. God, dude, don't ever come back again. Dead. Oh, he killed the thing finally. Ow, Jesus! Man, that thing was annoying. Sorry. Yeah, it took down like half your health. No shit! I mean, it's hopping around the, like a fucking rabbit. The plus side, he didn't do a lot. Of, he doesn't do a lot of damage, so no, it's just better. Fucking annoying. Yeah. Yeah, but I I rather it being annoying, and then the, and then they it kill you over and over again. Imagine if he was like at half health, and then like Golden just like gets there, and he get he dies, and then he gets there again, and he dies, and he gets there again, and he dies because he keeps showing up at half health. Sonic Prime teaser trailer. What is does 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 Knuckles have a bandana? Probably. Yes. It looks like Yo. a beanie. Rap rap breakdown. Motherfucker's gonna eat a uh. <laughs> Catch up, motherfucker. I was gonna do the rap that Aaron did on Game Grumps, but then I think it's a little vulgar. Wait, is my... Oh, wait. Oh, yep. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, you. Sound, <laughs> sound yeah. test. Sound test. These nuts. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. God just wanted it. to make sure my just wanted to make sure my stream deck worked. Fair. Crack the bottle. Crack, crack the bottle. Did you see the thirty-two key is like uh, two hundred bucks right now? Dude, I'm not gonna buy the thirty-two key. I don't need thirty-two keys. That's excessive. Ah, oh, damn it! You go buy the thirty-two key. I just need like fifteen keys. Nah. Oh my god. I'm good. Really? Really? Oh, no. What it's happened? Only 15, it's only 50 bucks more for the... Oh, fucking... Yeah. Like, I'm trying to get the ferry, and then it goes to the other side of the wall, so I go around to get to the other side, and it just keeps flying away from my reach. Oh, yeah, I saw oh, that. Dear. Yep. That was such a dick move. Bad form. Yeah, and bad form, game. Cool.